Hey, I'm David from Parkway Volvo in Wilmington, North Carolina, and today I'm going to show you how to use the navigation system on your new Volvo. On your center screen here, the top tile is always going to be your navigation tile. Press that button, comes up here, and what you can do is hit set destination. You'll come into the screen for your destinations. You can search, you can go to your recent, your recent destinations, your favorites, something from your library, a point of interest, whether it be near the vehicle or at a point on the map. Finally, you can go into your addresses. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that the country and the state are correct. Then you'll go to your city. You can do this by zip code or by the name of the city. What we'll do is we'll do Wilmington, since we're in Wilmington, North Carolina. Once you get into the name, it pops up here that, you're one, that Wilmington is one of the selections. Select Wilmington. Next thing you want to do is the address, and this is just the street name. Again, press on the address, and you'll put in the name of the street. All right, we see here that Market Street is one of the options. Select it, and then finally, you'll do the house number. Start navigation down here at the bottom once you know that the address is correct. The route is being calculated. Let you know that Please the, proceed to the highlighted route. Let you know that the route is going to be calculated. Two things happen. It gives you your navigation here, but then it also gives you your navigation and your driver display here. So if you want to make any sort of changes, if you want to control the radio from the center screen, you can do that without ever having to take your eyes off of this, the display down here. You can maximize the screen. You can change the appearance of it, how it's displayed, whether it be 2D or 3D. You can go in and mute the commands. You can repeat the last command. You can minimize the screen or hit your home button and it continues to give you your ETA, the address where you're going and what your next command is and which direction you're going to turn on your next command. You can open it back up and cancel the route by pressing OK. Now, if you want to go back to an address that you've already been to, again, press on the navigation screen, set destination, go to recent, and there's the last address that we just put in here for Parkway Volvo. Now I'm going to show you how to save a recent address in your navigation system. Press on the navigation tile, set destination, and pull it from your recent destinations. There's 5920 Market Street, which is Parkway Volvo. Once you select it, your bottom left tile is your save button. Press on save. You can make it a favorite by hitting the star or you can just save it by hitting save right there. So we'll start it and save it. And then it lets you know at the top that the position has been saved into your library. Then what you can do is once it's been saved, you can go into your navigation, set destination from your favorites. And there's 5920 Market Street, again, Parkway Volvo. Press on it, start navigation. The route is being calculated. And it calculates Please the route for you. to the highlighted route. One way that you can pull up the destination is by using the steering wheel controls on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. Press your menu button. Comes up down here in the bottom right-hand side of the driver display area. You'll use the arrow button to get over to navigation and then you've got the destinations that we've put into the navigation there. All you'll do is hit the OK button. The route is being calculated. And it begins to calculate Please the route. to the highlighted route. Again, it gives you the ETA, the address of where you're gonna finish, your next command, while also giving you the map view here in the center display for the driver. Here in the driver's display, you have several things that deal with the navigation. You have your map, and at the very bottom, you have your next command. One thing that changes on this is when you come to an intersection with multiple lanes, whether it be two right-hand lanes, three straight lanes, or two right-hand turn lanes, 
it will give you a recommendation for which lane you need to be in to make sure that you make the correct command left turn, right turn, or straight. Another way to enter a destination for navigation is by voice. The button right here on the steering wheel is your voice recognition or voice activation button. The first thing that you want to do in the Volvo is make sure that you're searching in the correct area. It makes it much quicker. So you'll press the button, change search area. Which state? North Carolina. Changing search area to North Carolina. Once you've changed the search area, you can go in now and enter a, a, an address. Go to 5920 Market Street, Wilmington. Once it finds the navigation destination that it wants, it immediately puts it into 5920 the Market Street, Wilmington set as final destination, calculating route. So you may have noticed that I gave it the command to go to. With the Volvo, that is the command to let it know that you're going to put in an address or a point of interest into the navigation that you want to be your destination. What you say is go to and then the address in individual numbers, 5920 instead of 5920. That's the way the system recognizes it and makes it much easier and much quicker when you're trying to enter an address through the voice activation button. Another thing that you may have noticed when I was giving a command was that I did not say the state. Because I've already changed the search area to find the address for Parkway Volvo, all you have to give it is just the city that you're looking in. So like I said, 5920 Market Street, Wilmington, the system is still listening. So if you say North Carolina, it confuses itself. All you have to say is just the city and it'll be much quicker in finding your destination.